This square mile of conifers in northeast Hampshire was at the centre of one of the most bitterly fought planning rows ever seen in southern England. It was to be home for 15,000 people. The government vetoed the scheme, a victory for the environment. But was it? Will the damage now be on a greater scale affecting more people? Facing South, Thursday, 10.35 on TVS. Hello, good evening. Detectives have tonight started a murder inquiry following Tuesday's explosion at a pub near Alton in Hampshire in which one man died. At a press conference a short time ago, the head of Hampshire's CID revealed that the victim, Cliff Howes, was killed deliberately. From Alton, Chris Wilson reports. The breakthrough in the case came this afternoon as teams of police sifted through the debris of the ruined building. Earlier today, senior detectives said they were virtually certain the blast had been caused by a simple gas leak, but now the investigations become a full-scale murder inquiry. The blast ripped through the Jolly Farmer in the early hours of Tuesday morning. The body of pub chef Clifford Howes was recovered from the cellar of the building some 12 hours later. Meanwhile, pub manager Richard Dean is recovering in hospital from serious burns after he was dragged from the blazing building, his hair and clothing on fire. An hour ago, detectives held a press conference at Alton Police Station to reveal their findings. They now believe the explosion was caused by ignited petrol vapour. Detectives stress it wasn't a terrorist attack, but say it was definitely triggered off deliberately by somebody who poured petrol into the building. They're now appealing for all customers of the Jolly Farmer to come forward to help with their investigation. Chris Wilson, TVS News, Alton. Fire has tonight destroyed a house at Crawley in Sussex. Firemen rescued a man and a woman from the terraced house at Broadfield. At one stage it was feared that other people were trapped in the building. The blaze also damaged adjoining houses and residents had to be moved out. Schools across the south are facing closure because of a flu epidemic. Hundreds of staff and children are off sick. It's the worst flu outbreak for 10 years. They call it Shanghai flu and young children are especially vulnerable. Evershot Primary School was closed on Monday and Tuesday and less than half the school came in today because so many teachers are ill. We had children arrive in the morning feeling perfectly fine and by lunchtime on Thursday or Friday we had to ring the parents up to come and fetch them. Doctor surgeries in the area are starting to run short of vaccine and even the suppliers in Southampton are struggling to keep up with demand. There's still a strong demand. We've sold in excess of 600,000 doses uh, and now we're selling about two or 3,000 doses a day of flu vaccines. These children at a Reading school just hope they'll have enough pupils to stage their nativity play on Friday. Today a quarter of the class were absent. Battle Hospital at Reading has tonight been put on red alert because only 25 beds are left for emergencies. Managers have now asked anyone due to attend for a non-urgent operation over the next 24 hours to check their bed is still available. A workman had an amazing escape when he was run over by a dumper truck which demolished a porter cabin. Teenager Stephen Shrub accidentally started the four-ton vehicle while working in Winchester. But he escaped unhurt after the wheels pushed him into deep mud. Two ancient cannons, both more than 100 years old, arrived at Basingstoke today when they're to be totally restored. The cannons, an English and a Russian one, have been languishing in St Albans and Chelmsford. Now craftsman Martin Bibbings has been given the job of restoring them to their former glory. Now for a look at the weather picture for tonight and tomorrow we join Carl Tyler. Good evening. Well, no frost tonight, it's turn of fog. There's going to be quite a lot of it around and it'll be quite dense in places as we go through the night. Your lowest temperature, 4, that's only 39 degrees Fahrenheit. Now, if we have a look at the chart for noon tomorrow, you can see very little change. We've still got the high-pressure system, but there is another front trying to keep in, creep into the south there, and that could bring back the night frosts from tomorrow night onwards. Tomorrow morning, then, dull, misty, some patchy fog around, but that fog gradually dispersing. For the afternoon, it's going to brighten up a little, and you may just get a little bit of sunshine right on the coast itself. Your best temperature is 8. 46 Fahrenheit. So to summarise then, we can expect a dull morning with patchy fog becoming brighter after lunch. Finally, a 94-year-old Berkshire driver lost his clean licence when he drove through a red light after being dazzled by Christmas fairy lights. Harry Batley from Thatcham, a motorist for 80 years, was fined £40 by magistrates, but he says he'll keep on driving. That's it for me in TVS Newsroom. Very good night to you.